Today I'll be showing you how to do my everyday makeup routine. As you can see, I've been suffering from hormonal acne for a while now. Um, so ever since I decided to stop taking my birth control, my skin has been acting crazy. It's been textured, it's flaky, it's dry. I also have acne and acne scars. I know my skin is a mess right now, but thank goodness for makeup because today I'm going to show you how I do my everyday makeup to achieve this fresh, glowy, effortless look. I'm going to show you how I cover up my acne and acne scars and still have a natural glow to my skin. First, I'm going to pin my bangs back so I can properly apply my makeup to my forehead. I'm in the process of growing up my bangs, so they're at a really awkward length and they're so annoying. So the foundation I'm using today is the Chanel foundation. I'm only going to use a pea size amount. I like to take my fingers and dab it all over my face. So I focus mainly on the middle of my face around my nose and my mouth area because that's where I get the most texture and spots. Then I take a fluffy brush and I buff it into my skin. I start in the middle of my face where I need the most coverage and I pull it out towards the outside of my face. I like foundations that have a very light coverage. So even though I have acne and acne scars, I never like to wear foundation that's too thick because I want my skin to look natural. So keep watching because I'll show you how I cover up my ac acne spots um, without using heavy, heavy makeup. Then I use a slight damp beauty blender just to press the foundation into my skin. I like to do this two-step process when it comes to applying anything on my skin because it just makes the product melt into your skin and it makes it look like natural skin. So I spend a good amount of time blending because I feel like the more you do this, the more natural the product will look on your skin. Now I'm going to jump to my eyebrows. When I'm doing my makeup, I like to jump around um, so the whole look will start to come together at the same time. But don't worry you guys, keep watching this video because I'm not done with my skin just yet. I still have a few more steps when it comes to covering my acne and having really natural glowy skin. I like to be very minimal with my eyebrows. So as you can see, I like to keep things really natural, really effortless. So I like to keep my brows very bushy and very fluffy. Sometimes when you're using soap brows, it could leave a white residue on your brows. So if that happens, just take your finger and wipe it. So now that I've brushed my eyebrows up, I can see where I have gaps in my brows. Um, and these gaps are actually from over plucking when I was a teenager. It's so annoying, but it just never grew back completely. I can't believe my eyebrows used to be this thin. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills to fill in the empty gaps. Um, I'm really careful not to overdraw my brows because I feel like it can get out of hand really quickly. If I'm a little too heavy handed with this, my eyebrows can look really fake and blocky. So I try not to spend too much time filling them in because I can get it carried away sometimes. I'm going to put on some lip gloss on my lips. Um, I usually do this at the beginning because I like the lip gloss to sit on my lips while I do my face. So when it's time to do my lipstick, which is close to the end, my lips are nice and soft. Next, I'm taking a color called Ginger for my under eyes. So I like to use this color to color correct because it's very warm toned. It has a slight pinky tone to it, so I dot this under my eyes where it's the darkest. Keep in mind this is not to brighten my under eyes. I'm gonna do that in just a minute. This is just to neutralize the dark bags that I have under my eyes. I'm careful not to overdo it because I don't want my under eyes to look cakey. I also like to use a concealer brush just to blend it out and get a smooth, thin layer. Bit 
Then same technique I did with my foundation, I'm using a beauty blender to melt this product into my skin. The next product I'm using to brighten up my under eyes is the NARS Concealer Pot called Custard. Using a concealer brush, I'm going to apply a thin layer under my eyes to conceal my under eyes and brighten it up. So if you have an issue with your concealer creasing up under your eyes, this is the holy grail of all concealers. This concealer does not budge. It doesn't crease up. I think it's because it's in this pot. It's just like a little different um, in consistency. It's slightly thicker so it doesn't settle into your fine lines. So you guys should know by now, I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend this out, making sure this product melts into my skin and making it look like natural skin. Next, this is a really crucial part to how I cover up all my acne spots and imperfections. So I take a small brush with a point and I dip it into my NARS custard concealer and dab it all over any spots that I have. It's important that your brush is small and it has a point, so you can really be precise about this. After I've dabbed the concealer over my spot, I take a flat concealer brush and I blend around the spot. I don't want to rub on the spot because I don't want to remove the concealer from the pimple. I'm just trying to blend the area around it. And there you have it. As you can see, the spot has disappeared. Now I'm gonna go over my entire face and do the same to any acne spots I have on my chin, my cheeks, or anywhere else. So this is gonna take me a while since my skin is really bad right now. I have new pimples and a bunch of old pimples that have left dark marks on my skin. I'm gonna to continue to just stab concealer on top and blend it out using a flat brush. So this technique has allowed me to cover up all my spots without my makeup looking so heavy and cakey. I'm not applying thick makeup over my entire face. I'm just strategically placing only small amounts in areas where I need it the most. I used to cover my acne by using a full coverage foundation, but I just realized that it would just settle into my fine lines and just make my skin look even worse. So I've been loving this technique because my skin still looks fresh and it still looks natural. Then I'm going to add a very light translucent powder over the spots that I've just concealed to just set the area. I'm using a sort of a dense brush so I don't rub the spot too much. I don't want to rub the concealer off. I just want to gently dab the powder on. With a really light hand, I'm just pressing the powder into the spots where I applied the concealer. It's going to help the concealer stay on all day so it doesn't rub off. Then I'm taking a beauty blender so I can press it into my skin. Then I'm going back to my brows. I'm going to take a brush with a straight edge to clean up my brows and make them look like they've been freshly done. I want this to look really subtle and really natural so I'm only doing it at the bottom. I don't need to do this at the top. I'm also going to blend this out really well because I don't want it to be too noticeable. We're going for a very natural look. To create a really nice even base for my eyeshadow, I'm going to apply an eyeshadow base. This one is the MAC Painterly Pot. I think it helps my eyeshadows blend out a lot nicer and it also helps my eyeshadows stay put throughout the day. 
Now that we've created a really good base with the skin, the brows, the lid, now it's time to start adding dimension back into my face. I'm going to start by taking the Chanel Cream Bronzer. I love this bronzer so much. The formula blends out so nicely on my skin and I find that this color is the perfect shade. It's not too orange, it's not too gray, it's the perfect shade and it looks really natural. I'm going to apply this bronzer right above my cheekbones. So notice how I'm blending and pushing the product up rather than down. It just gives me more of like a lifted look. Watching satellites spin from the trunk of the old man's car. But just to make sure there's no harsh lines, I'm taking a clean fluffy brush and blending out all of the edges. Now I'm taking a cream bronzer and applying it to my forehead and my temples. I don't know why I even bother applying it to my forehead since my bangs are going to cover my forehead anyways, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I can't ignore my forehead. Now I'm taking a bronzing palette by NARS and setting that cream shadow. I feel like when I layer cream products with powder products, it just gives me more dimension and it looks a lot more natural. Now I'm going to be adding a cream blush, and this one is the Tower Blush in the shade Magic Hour. I like to give myself a lifted look, so I apply it on my upper cheekbones. I also like going for that sun-kissed look, so I apply it over my nose as well. It just makes me look like I've spent all day at the beach and I love a rosy pink nose. <laughs> Again, I'm making sure it's all blended out using a clean brush. Now I'm moving on to my eyes. I'm going to take this Urban Decay Ultimate Basics palette. I am so obsessed with this palette because it has all the basic colors I use on a daily basis. This is really the only palette I need in life, really. I'm going to use a lighter shade and place it into my crease. This is going to add more dimension to my eyes. To make sure it's completely blended and there are no harsh lines, I take a clean brush and I blend out all the edges. I want this look to be very natural and the key is to just blend. Then I'm taking a darker shade and blending that shade into my crease to define that crease just a little bit more. So I'm focusing on the outer corners to make my eyes look bigger and wider. Then again, I'm also taking a clean brush and blending it into my lids. I want a really soft winged liner, so I'm taking this hourglass pencil in the shade Canon, which is a really pretty deep chocolate color, and I'm going to smudge that along my lash line. I start at the middle of the lash and pull it outwards towards the outer corners. So this doesn't need to be perfect because I'm going to take a brush and clean it up in a bit. Now I'm going to take a brush with a flat edge and smudge out the liner and pull it slightly at the ends to give my eyes more of that almond shape. I like smudging my eyeliner like this because it gives me more of like a sultry kind of look. Shut the door and go inside. Never say goodbye. 
I'm not done with my eyeliner just yet. I'm going to take this hourglass gel liner. So this one has a really nice point to it. Um, I'm going to define my lash line a little bit more just to make it super dark at the lash line. Since this eyeliner has a really fine tip, it's easy just to go in between the lashes and just get in there. This is going to make my lash line even darker and add that dimension to my eyeliner. Now I'm going to give my lashes a quick curl before applying the mascara. I actually like to curl my lashes before I go to bed too. I find that it makes it stay curled for longer. Anyways, I'm applying this Korean base called Pimmel. Um, this works like a lash glue. It's clear and it literally holds my lashes and keeps them curled all day. This stuff is so strong you guys, it's no freaking joke. Now I'm going to apply a few coats of the Hourglass Mascara. I like it because it's really dark and it's really black and it makes my lashes look really long. I'm using a KKW lip liner for my lips. I like to start on my cupid's bow and line the actual lip line. I try not to overline too much. Um, I used to really love to overline my lips, but lately I don't like it and I don't know, I don't do it anymore. I don't know why, I've just been preferring the more natural look now. I noticed that this color is a little too dark for the look that I'm going for today, so I'm going to rub it in a little bit more just to give it like a softer look. I do this a lot with lip liners. Um, when I'm going for a more natural look, a lot of the time I only wear lip liner and I'll just rub it in so the lines aren't so harsh. I'm going to apply another lip liner over this one. So this color is called Strip Down from MAC. It's kind of my go-to color. It's been my go-to color for years now. It matches my natural lip color so well and I just love how natural it looks. Now I'm going to apply this KKW lipstick color. This color is really similar to my natural lip color, but it's slightly lighter than my lip color. I like adding a lighter shade or a more pink shade in the middle because I just think that it makes my lips look a little bit more plump. Then I'm going to spray the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray all over so my makeup stays put all day. It also helps my skin to look healthy and hydrated. So lastly, the final step of this everyday makeup routine, I'm going to take a little bit of highlighter. This is the highlighter stick by Clinique. I like this highlighter because it's not too glittery. It just gives me like a nice, healthy glow. This is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you like the final look as much as I do. Oh yeah, I'm going through the painful process of growing out my bangs. So just a heads up if you're wondering why my bangs look so ridiculous, growing my bangs out is not easy and I'm trying to be patient and we're gonna get through this together. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you are following me on Instagram to see my daily looks.